Hey everybody, Jimmy with Jimmy's Thrifts, coming at you with a new video. I've got some uh, stuff that sold I wanted to show you and some things that I bought that I want to show you uh, or share with you. He was going fast. Uh, so we're here in my thrifting reselling office, HQ for Jimmy's Thrifts. If you're hearing like bird noises in the background, that's because there's a nest of starlings in the eaves of my garage. Uh, and that's where my office is. So we're gonna have to do with them making some noise and uh, Without talking anymore. We'll get right into some good content. So thanks for joining me like and subscribe if you enjoy this Yes, do this All right, everybody, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the thrifting office this is just, just a little office I built in my garage. It's nothing fancy, but I've been working out of this for a little over a year now, and lately I've been putting in a lot of work in here. So I've been trying to make it a little bit nicer. Um, so it's actually coming together. So I'll give you a quick little tour. This is going to be my uh, YouTube editing table. I just recently got this computer. Uh, so needed something good to do some editing. Over here is kind of the eBay station. Um, that's thrifted. The speakers are thrifted. Uh, these two label printers are thrifted. Thrifted. Fire King mug, thrifted. Thrifted. Thrifted basically love thrifting everything that I use. This is not thrifted, this is not thrifted. But this is my little eBay workstation where I get quite a bit done. Um, and I print all my labels from in here. There's those thrifted label printers, heck yeah. And then over here, this is where I do my listing. Uh, got some overhead lighting. I got these little ring lights. This is where I test with my TV. I store video games up there. And then I've got kind of a area for some stuff and out in my actual garage where I keep bins full of stuff. And then here is the shipping station, what is which is a complete mess. Air conditioner, there's my tripod. Um, yeah, that's disgraceful. And then I got the whiteboard with the profits up there from last weekend. I actually did my math wrong, so there's actually more than I thought, which is always a good thing. So let's get into what I picked up at the thrift store and we'll see what I'm going to be listing tonight. All right. So here's what I picked up today at the thrift. It's Friday. I picked up this Complete Police Academy. Uh, I think this was selling for around $30. I'll put comps up on the screen. That was $4.99, nice little bit of profit. Um, next was this Xbox One game, $2.99. And this is actually sealed. Usually pick up sealed games just because they could sell as brand new and usually get a pretty good price. Next is this controller, $4.99, which I was very surprised because usually they think anything video games. It's these, I'm hopeful. I don't know if this is broken or what, but things seem to be working. Um, so we're gonna test that out. Luckily I have an Xbox One and in good working condition, this should sell in the 30s in broken condition. I could probably still get 20 bucks for that. Next, uh, which is keep your eye out for, is RC cars. Um, this one's not like a super expensive RC car, but I looked up the comps on a new bright grave digger, and there was one that sold for $59.99, uh, free shipping. But then there's also selling these top, this just the body for $20, free shipping, and then the wheels. Uh, someone was selling for $17.99 plus shipping. That was an actual sold, I should say. And so basically, you know, you could kind of part these things out, I guess. Gravedigger obviously is one of the most well-known um, 
trucks in the Monster Jam series and he's pretty unmistakable. So next time you see something like this, it may be worth looking it up. Even if you're not really into selling things like this, um, you can always sell these as for parts. Um, and sometimes people will take these off and they'll just put it on another RC car. They'll fashion it on there just so they have a cool uh, body to put on their RC car. So that's what I picked up today. Um, I spent a total of, let's see, this is six, nine, we got 14, and then, so I spent $19, and I'm hoping that this works, so I get 30 for that. Uh, this, I think, is 15, so 45, and I believe this was 30 as well, so we've gotten 75, and then who knows how much I get for this. So I'm going to make my money back for sure, um, considering I only spent, what did I say, $19, so... This is kind of how resellers do. You buy things for cheap at thrift stores or low cost, and then you flip them for profits. And that's what we're into is profits. So let's go to what is sold. I've sold five things. All right, let's get into the what's sold here. Let me get into focus. Uh, first thing I sold was this sealed copy, uh, sealed uh, Guitar Hero copy. It's a dual pack. I picked this up for, I believe, $2.99 uh, at the Salvation Army. And that sold for $24 even plus shipping. I probably could have gotten a little bit more for this, but I haven't gotten any action on it. And I'm just liking to move things and get some cash. Next thing that sold, it, this is... <laughs> uh, you're not going to be able to tell, so I'm going to put something up on the screen. This is not saran wrapped garbage i swear it is something good what it is is um there we go we got to focus it is these pants they are the brand cool k-u-h-l it's a pretty good bolo for clothing i don't usually like to pick up clothing um but it sells well this brand so keep your eye out for the brand Cool, K-U-H-L. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen. So those are some pretty good uh, pants and stuff to sell. The shorts sell well. I've sold many of the shorts and some of the shirts sell really well too. This brand I was turned on to by the College Picker uh, if you haven't followed him, he is a good resource, very technical in, uh, in how he sells things. So that is the second item that I sold, and those sold for $28.50, and I picked these up for $9.99. But the cool thing is I picked these up yesterday. So I made a cool $15 plus, $18 or whatever. So those plus shipping and I put it in a flat rate so I'll probably be able to ship those a little cheaper anyway. Third thing that I sold is a couple of Lego minifigures. If I can get them out of this bag, this is how I s stored them. Um, so basically these two little Lego minifigures came out of a lot of Legos that I bought um, which I've made most of my money back on already, and I still have tons of Legos. These are Soldiers of the Dead, and I think it's like a Hobbit set maybe, or a Knight set, but these actually sold for $27.99 plus uh, shipping. So this is a nice little sale. I love selling small stuff like this because, I mean, it doesn't take up much space, good profits, so keep your eyes out for these Lego minifigures because they can bring some good money. I just sold a Mace Windu for $10, uh, a single Mace Windu minifigure by Lego for $10, and he was part of this lot as well. I spent like a little over 100, and I've made plenty back on that investment. So $27, and I have like a $2 into these, so pretty good sale. Next sale I have is this uh, DVD VCR combo. This one is not a super sought after model of Sylvania. 
Um, but it sold uh, for, let's see, $37 even plus shipping. And I ship these UPS ground usually because if you try to calculate it, sometimes if you don't get the weight right, you're going to get burnt on the priority shipping because these are heavy and they are large. So I would suggest shipping either FedEx or UPS ground shipping. Uh, this sold for $37. My buy cost is zero because my mom is a reseller as well and she had bought some of this stuff and she didn't want to test and list them. So I always sell these usually with some cords uh, just to make it look a little bit more appealing. So throw the AV cables in your picture and I usually grab those at the thrift store uh, to just have them on hand to sell these. So $37 profit, profit, profit. Uh, thanks mom for giving me this. I'll pay you back sometime. The next sale I have, and you can't see this cause I have it wrapped up, but this is one of my more profitable sales today. Um, and this is a very unique find. I found this at a estate sale. Um, I stopped in really quickly and I only had $12. Uh, so I picked up several things. This is a t-shirt, a Betty Boop, vintage Betty Boop t-shirt from 1994 on the tall text tag. And it's front and back. It's almost all over print. I didn't quite sell it as all over print, but I put this up for $99.95 and ended up accepting an offer of $75 and once I did put this up uh, I listed it in the evening like 11 o'clock and when I woke up I had four offers um, and then throughout the day I ended up getting around eight more offers and I settled for the 75 plus ship and I will put a better picture on the screen right now and that is it. That is a very cool t-shirt. It's a size extra large. I probably could have waited and gotten more, but like I said, I'm into getting the cash right now. Um, I'm not really into the slow dime right now. I'm into the fast nickel. So this is a very cool shirt. It's the first vintage t-shirt that I've sold. Um, and I have to say I'm a fan with a 50 cent buy cost at an estate sale. Uh, turned into some $70 profit. So I'm pretty happy with that. That is the last item that I sold today. And I'm pretty happy with my sales so far. So we'll see what the weekend brings. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy with just selling something. So when I'm selling things, I know that I'm doing a good job as a reseller. So that's everything that I bought uh, and sold today. Thanks for watching so much. I really appreciate it. And I'd appreciate it if you'd like and consider subscribing. Um, I've got the new computer for editing. So I actually have the capacity to edit videos, whereas my old computer could not before. So hopefully I'll be putting out a lot of content. I really, really genuinely love reselling and I like to share the excitement of reselling with everybody that tunes in. So thanks for watching again, and I hope to see you in the next video. I really appreciate you tuning in. Have a good night.